So we're gonna show you how to create a lemon battery. In the first place, we were going to try to power Christmas light, and we were really ambitious and thought we could power a motor. But as Ted said, he'd be impressed if we could, and we realized that it's much more difficult than we expected. Mainly because voltage is easy with the lemons, but current not so much. Um, I'm going to hook up in series and parallel so that you decrease the resistance while increasing um, current and voltage. So we're going to use lemons, a nail, and you can use a penny, but copper wire works better actually and it creates more surface area to, with the acid and the lemon. So we cut a slit, stick the copper in there, the farther in the more surface area and the more current. And we're going to show you how to hook up six cells, which is a half a lemon each. The rest are already hooked up. This, this is already taken a long time. So first, you're going to um, the top side is going to be negative, which is the nail. And you want to hook them up in parallel. So you hook nail to nail, and the nail to the nail. The bottom is going to be the copper, which is the positive side. You're going to hook those up positive to positive. And what you want to do is, after you hook them up in series on top and bottom, you want to go I mean parallel. I mean parallel. You want to go across in series, or you want to connect the positive copper okay. on top to the negative. And we had did these ones earlier because we thought it would be easy and it turned out not to be. So, yeah, we just showed you how to make the first six. And we can, on total we have eight lemons, but they're cut up in half. So we have 16 lemons in our parallel series that we have going right now. I hope you hook this up to the multimeter. We'll Black. be able to measure the current. The black is negative, so you hook that up to the last one with the nail. And turn it on. First, to measure voltage, you're going to go to 2 volts. You can see 1.67, 1.68 volts just from these lemons. Which is more than enough to to power one of these, but I when mean, you look at current, we're gonna go to milliamps. When you switch that, we only get about 1.3, 1.2. 2. Was up to what 1.5, but decreases, and that is not enough to power one of these, let alone motor. Um, these take about three milliamps, so this is about half, and. We don't have enough cords and everything to be able to do that, but we have figured out the calculations for that. And just to show that everything is hooked up correctly, we can connect a battery at the beginning of the circuit and let the current travel through the circuit, and it should light up this bulb if everything is hooked up in both series and parallel correctly. So we take C battery, which is 1.5 volts, about 0.25 amps in one of these. And then we get to the connectors. And you want to hook these up to the positive side on the top and have one that connects to the battery, or the negative side on the top and the positive side on the bottom. The bottom side. And then we connect it to the I don't know if you can...
it is lit up. See, very dim. But that just shows that we hooked it up correctly. Turn the light back on. Yep, everything is hooked up correctly, and if you did it right, you should be able to get a little dim, but... Yeah. <coughs> we did the calculations, and we found out that to light, actually, like a full one of these, we need... It's about three milliamps. Three milliamps. And if this was confusing, which it is when you first do it, I mean, after spending two hours trying to figure this out, finally completely understand it. Um, make a diagram. 